Hey y'all, it's a costume jeweler. We're at Keswick Thrift Center. This is in Seminole, Florida. Looking for purses, jewelry, knickknacks, whatnots, doodads, and trinkets to back up for resale on YouTube and eBay. So make sure you hit that notification bell. Make sure that bell turns black. Make sure it says all so you're notified of these video uploads. As well as my live buy it nows and auctions on my channel. During those sales, we give away multiple free prizes to buyers. Subscribe to the channel, thumbs up for this video. Don't forget at my live sales, I sell below market value. So we're going in here for looking for purses, jewelry, knickknacks, whatnots, doodads, and trinkets to resell on those live YouTube sales. This is where I found that 1920s jewelry tray a few weeks ago. Check that video out. Let's go in here and see if we can find any treasures. This right here is why I keep coming in this store. Look at this. So another reason I love this store so much because you never know what you're gonna find. Look and see if there's anything else. Really have to look closely at the jewelry because there's no telling what they may have. Look at these stones here. So they'll kind of have purses. They have purses in the back, some in the front. right there. Thank you. I always look through all of these bags here. Just kind of eyeball it just a little bit. Ooh. Look at these, y'all. Wow. Love these. Alpaca Mexico. Abalone shell. Let's see if there's anything else in here that can't live without. I don't think we can live without abalone shell. Don't think so. So I sold a perfume just a few days ago. That's a cigar bottle perfume. And then look at that right there. That's another cigar bottle perfume. And it smells really good. I don't know anything about that one. But I may pack that up. Sadly, I've been kind of keeping those for myself. I know that sounds horrible. It's an interesting bottle. Never heard of that brand before. 
And that right there looks like Fahrenheit. I'm not absolutely sure on that taller bottle in the back. Vintage curling iron right there. Sterling silver bracelets. And look at this right here, Damascene in the color blue. Very nice. Let's see what they've got in the case here. Oh, wow, these are so pretty. Uh, look at these. Oh my God, and look. It, I hope it stops wobbling because I don't want to break it. I love this. So let's zoom in on those butterflies. That might be actually real egg and hand painted. I don't know yet, but that might be hand painted, y'all. I think I'm getting those. Hopefully I don't crack those carrying them around. Y'all, I think that really is. That's a real egg hand painted. Look at this. This place gets the best stuff. So we're getting these for sure. You'll see those on a future sale. Oh wow, love it. So these are real eggs, y'all. Hand painted, awesome. What a great find. That makes me just want to keep coming here every week. Look at these trinket boxes, y'all. These right here may be very old. I am not sure. We're gonna get in this glass case and look at these up close, y'all. Wow. That's a nice perfume bottle. We will check those two um, trinket boxes out in a second because right now the clerk is talking to somebody, so you have to get assistance to get into that one into that case. What are these? Oh, look at these. These were used in the 1860s. What a cool story to add to that, y'all. Look at this. I'm going to show you up close so you can read it. So this person, whoever used to own these, there's not any spoons to this, but you could use these as little jewelry. Correct a spoon the salt, dip the salt, your carrots into the salt. Very cool right there. So we're talking about these right here. Those could definitely be used for something else. So what do y'all think about that? So that's a huge salt dish right there. I don't know if I'm gonna get those or not. I may 
not absolutely certain yet. But you can definitely use those for jewelry related, jewelry related um, use. Betsy in 1971. Back then they wrote their names on their dishes so that they could get them back for sure. So y'all look at this. Purple glass. I thought I saw some new trinkety items in here when I pulled up and parked. I guess I didn't look up high enough over there. There's a beautiful blue bowl. Check that out. So yeah, you will have lots of choices here of knick-knacky shelf items. Little miniature ducks. Look at these cute little things right here. plate right here what is this So look at this y'all, amethyst with a little butterfly on it.
So I liked both of those. Um, I say trinket boxes. I like those a lot. It's a piano jewelry box. So back here that goes even further back and there's going to be back here linens, blankets, clothing, sewing supplies, and then back here you're going to find more purses in the back. So a lot of kids clothes, pictures are at the back, some at the front, and then you've got all the purses right here. All right, y'all, we're gonna get out of here. Picked up those two original eggs that are hand painted that have the display cases. Got us a bamboo compact, a fetish necklace, that whole bag of coins. I'm hoping there's something good in there. And what else did we get? The two Oh gosh, the two trinket tray things. The little trinket boxes. So don't forget to like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell, click the thumbs up for this video. And until next live bite now or video, we will see y'all later. Bye.